Hello, and welcome back to Jenna Gets Creative. Yes, I am wearing the same shirt as Tuesday's video, and yes, that is because I am recording this week's intros and outros back to back. Thank you again so much to everybody who subscribed. We did hit 250 right at the end of January on the 30th on Thursday, and that means that I am now doing this uh, for most of my videos from now on. Sometimes I'll be rushed and I might have to cut something, but yeah. I'm doing face cam intros and outros, and it's exciting. Anyway, today I, uh, I'm not quite done with the big project I'm working on, so I quickly just looked up, decided to see what kind of daily prompts are going on in February, and to my delight, there's lots. <laughs> one of my favorite, not my absolute favorite, but one of my favorite Canadian art stores, supply stores, Opus there in BC, they have a daily practice list for February, and ACDA, you've heard me talk about them before, Arts, Crafts, and DIYs and Amino, they have changed their monthly contest for this month. They are releasing a daily prompt list, so I decide to combine them. And the first prompts on the list for February 1st, I know this is not going out on the 1st, and it's actually the second one I'm recording this. Whatever. Starting at the beginning. Uh, Opus said tiny and ACDA said red. Now, I live in Newfoundland and there is a traditional Irish slash Newfoundland folk song out here called The Tiny Red Light. So I decided to break out my ink tense pencils, do a little practice with those, and uh, interpreted The Tiny Red Light. So as I mentioned, I am taking this opportunity with this piece to just practice with my Inktense pencils. I haven't used them a whole lot, but I've known ever since I tried the 12 set that I absolutely love these, and I absolutely had to have the full 72 set, so I have it, and it's time to practice with them. <laughs> For those of you who aren't familiar with Inktense, this is one of Derwent's product lines. Inktense, as the name implies, are a water-soluble ink-based material. So they're similar to a watercolor pencil, but when you activate it and you use it like paint and then it dries, it's ink, it's permanent, you can layer on top of that and you're not going to reactivate the layer beneath if it's completely dry. They do also have blocks, which are like water-soluble pastels, and recently, last year, last summer, they released their 12 half pan travel sets that are kind of like a watercolor. The reason I decided to try this piece with the ink tense pencils is because I wanted to try glazing. Something I haven't really been too keen on trying with traditional watercolors because you do reactivate the layer beneath and pick it up and it's really easy to accidentally make mud. <laughs> But again, since these are ink and they're permanent once they're dry, you can glaze pretty much worry-free. I was using my hair dryer in between recording pieces to speed up the drying process, just so this didn't take forever and a day. <laughs> and it was it was really an interesting experience. I built up all of the textures, the lights and the darks on the iron base of this oil lamp using the sepia ink toned pencil and I think it turned out really really well. I glazed poppy red over top of it in two layers and it came out really nice. So I'm definitely looking forward to doing more playing of this type with the Inktense pencils in the future. I went ahead and swatched the full 72 set when I got it. I swatched what it looks like dry, I swatched what it looks like putting the pencil down and then activating it, and I swatched what it looks like picking up the pigment on a paintbrush and painting that down. So I have all three, and it's really nice to have what it looks like in all three techniques. And then I also looked up the light fast ratings on them. They use the uh, blue wool scale, so 0 to 8, 8 being the most light fast. And it's surprising how many of these are going to be light fast for at least 50 years, if not 100 plus the highest end of the scale. Really, 
yeah, nice to know. Uh, not an inconsequential number aren't all that light fast, but really not very many of them are poor light fast. They're all, pretty much all of them at least 15 years light fast. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, maybe I should do a video on light fastness and why we care. <laughs> but anyway, point being, Unlike Prismacolor, where so many of them really aren't light fast, and unlike a lot of cheaper brands where they just don't even tell you, it's nice to know that this material is reasonably light fast, and I could just put a UV coating on a piece like this and send off an original to a client and not worry about it like I would with some of the cheaper brands. So yeah, that was nice. Anyway, as I said, this is inspired by the song The Tiny Red Light. It's a traditional folk song. I believe it originated in Ireland and it came over to Newfoundland with the fishers and the farmers who came to settle this province back when it was a British colony. And yeah, I've, as you may know if you've been following me and listening to my ramblings, I'm not from Newfoundland originally. I grew up on the other side of Canada in British Columbia. And my family is from all over the place. Like as recently as my grandparents' generation, there are immigrants. And we're from all over Europe. Mostly Norway and then a big chunk in the United Kingdom and Ireland little bit of Germany in there and then on my father's paternal side they were also originally from Scandinavia and the British Isles but the recent relatives were from Australia and New Zealand and we all know what that means <laughs> and if you don't look it up <laughs> but anyway my husband out here in Newfoundland, he's like, he's totally the opposite. His family have been on this little rock in the Atlantic Ocean for 200 plus years, and their ancestry all goes back to just UK, Ireland, the British Isles. And so songs like this are completely his heritage. They're mine too, because I do have a lot of Irish blood. But it's it's just so cool, and in the years that I've been here, I've really been getting to know all of the folk music that is sung here. And I just, I love it so much. So, here's me embarrassing myself, <laughs> struggling to sing the tiny red light a cappella because my ukulele needs new strings, and I don't want to play the piano this late at night. So, yeah, here we go. <laughs> don't be too mean in the comments. The tiny red light. Put the light in the window, my darling, she said, as she gazed at the dark stormy night overhead. A little girl ran with an eager delight As she placed in the window the tiny red light Her father came home from his work wet and cold Angry and cross cause his fish were not sold He said that the oil must do for the night So he took from the window the tiny red light Father, dear father, don't take it away. Think of the poor sailors far out on the bay. If he could have seen what had happened that night, that could have been saved by the tiny red light. Early next morning came a knock on the door. A sailor stood pointing far out on the shore. Three tiny ships went adrift in the gale, with tears in his eyes told her father this tale. We followed your tiny red light, said the man, till it vanished from sight on the rocks our ships ran. Many were drowned on the billows last night, 
that might have been saved by the tiny red light. That could have been saved by the tiny red light. Well, thanks for watching guys. Here it is, the tiny red light. It's an oil lamp, as you can tell, because that's what they would have had in the time that that song was written. And I had a lot of fun playing with my ink tents. I, uh, tell me down in the comments below, do you use ink tents? Have you ever used them before? And did I use them in a way that you do use them or a way you've never seen before? Let me know. I. I'm working blind with these. I've never really seen anybody work with these except for maybe one video by uh, Lockery Fine Art. And yeah, experimenting. It's new to me. <laughs> Alright, end card time. Bye guys! You made it to the end of the video! Don't forget to hit like, leave a comment, and if you haven't already, hit subscribe and ring that bell. I upload every Tuesday and Thursday, and I feature artists and crafters in my end card. Use the hashtag LookJennaYT. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys!